What's going on guys, Monocity here. Uh, as promised, today we are gonna be taking the, the wrap off of my R6. Uh, it's with a heavy heart that I do so, but we've got some exciting things coming and uh, you guys are gonna get to see the bike blue again. We're gonna check out if the, there's any damage to the paint, see how uh, that held up, and uh, yeah, should be a good time. But first things first, uh, today's video is sponsored by Cove. This is their portable wireless Bluetooth speaker. Uh, super awesome, I really enjoy using this out in the garage. Uh, it's got awesome, awesome quality. One of the things that I really like, the uh, it's got a dial at the top, just makes it really easy to turn the volume up and down. And uh, on the bottom, they have their X-Base subwoofer. I thought it was gonna be kind of gimmicky, but it actually really makes the sound nice. Battery life is great, lasts up to eight hours. I've gotten more than that in my usage. Uh, it works from 30 feet away from whatever, whatever device you have it connected to, whether it be your phone, your computer, your refrigerator. If it's uh, Bluetooth and it plays, plays sound, uh, you can connect to it. It even has a built-in microphone if you wanna take calls on it. Go check it out for yourself. Again, I'll have a link down in the description with a code to get you guys 65% off. Uh, I think you're really gonna like it. The sound is really nice. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get to work on the R6. We're gonna be taking the wrap off, like I said, uh, just seeing the condition of everything, seeing how, how easy it is to take off. And I got something else that uh, came in today. I've been waiting months for it, and it's finally here. What's up, girly? Yeah, you have a good walk, good stroll. Don't touch it. <laughs> Your hair looks great. Yeah, it's a little windswept. You like mama's jacket? Yeah. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to uh, take some of the fairings off to get to some of these things. Like these side plastics will have to come off for me to, well, okay, actually think about the tank. I'm not gonna take the vinyl off of the tank for reasons that you guys will find out soon, um, but I will be taking it off of this piece first. And that's because that is the uh, the kind of surprise for today. Um, I'll, sh I'll show that later, but yeah, that's going to be the first stuff to come off. Um, but th with these fairings down here on the sides, like all the little bolts are going to have to come out for me to get the vinyl around those bolts. And then down here where these pieces attach to each other, I'm not going to be able to get behind there to get the vinyl because it's kind of, you know, pressed against each other. So those um, will have to get disconnected so that I can actually take all the vinyl off. Um, I might also have to take it off of the, uh, the front um, face of the bike right here, uh, off of this piece, just because it kind of tucks in along some of the black pieces in there. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure some of it will have to come off, but I figure just get started and we'll see <laughs> what we have to do once we uh, start working on it. So first piece is uh, pretty much all done. There's just a couple uh, places along the edges that I didn't quite pull it all off. I'm gonna have to take off the piece uh, in order to do that. But yo, the uh, the paint, perfect condition. The the vinyl did nothing but protect the uh, 
the actual paint on here. So if you're doing the wrap on your own, at least if you're using 3M vinyl, not gonna have to worry about your paint being damaged. If anything, it's gonna protect your paint underneath, which is what I expected. But I know some people were wondering if, it, if the uh, paint was gonna be you know, messed up underneath. Because I gotta take that thing off anyways, I'm going to uh, show you guys the, uh, the thing that I had come in that I've been waiting on for months. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so good. Check it out. Matt Carbon going on the bike. Six hours later. All right, so I got the carbon piece on there and uh, I I'm kind of torn. One, I, I don't think it looks as good with the white as I thought it would. Um, definitely looks... Uh, a lot better if the colors matched. The The second thing is that I didn't think about this and I should have because I've had to deal with this before, but the uh, the inside of the stock piece has um, some foam pieces and that's to keep it kind of stable and secure and uh, just flush with the, the piece that's underneath, that piece being the tank. So for that carbon piece, I'm gonna actually have to order some of these foam pieces on the inside, which sucks, because these always cost a lot, even though it's just it's just foam. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is, because I don't wanna have to screw, that, um, screw those pieces in, uh, because that's an absolute pain. There's two screws on the underside that connect to these holes right here. And uh, unless you completely like lift off the tank, it's kind of a hassle to get to. So I'm probably just gonna leave it unsecured from, uh, from the tank right now until I get these foam pieces in and then I'll uh, screw those in. I'm gonna start working on the sides. Hopefully these pieces come off easier. Problem is that uh, it's pretty cold right now. I mean, not super cold, but colder than it is to easily get it off. So I'm using the heat gun just enough so that the vinyl is flexible but not so hot that it just kind of stretches and just tears off. Because when it's really cold, they just break, the vinyl just breaks off in pieces. So to make it easier, I've been heating it up just a little bit. So it's kind of the strategy going forward. So I'll tell you what, the, uh, the thing slowing me down the most right now is trying to keep the vinyl warm so that it actually comes off and it doesn't keep breaking because that's my problem right now. I think what I'm gonna do is actually take off all the fairings. I didn't want to, I kind of wanted to take as much of the vinyl off before taking the fairings off, um, but it's, it's just too cold out here. So what I'm gonna do is take the fairings off. I'm gonna bring them inside where it's, you know, not 50 degrees right now. Um, and uh, that should make it a little bit easier to get this vinyl off. Last piece. So last night I uh, brought all of the fairings inside and uh, it made a massive difference. By the way, sorry <laughs> sorry if I sound bad. I, uh, I've been getting really, really sick and I'm finally starting to get over it, but I still can't breathe. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, yeah, so I brought all the fairings in and uh, Abby helped me out with it and we peeled all the vinyl off. It was like a thousand times easier in uh, 
the warmth of inside. It was only, it's probably like a 20 degree difference. It was like 50 outside and it was about 68, 70 inside. It was just way, way better. It came off a lot easier. I wasn't getting cold doing the stuff outside. Uh, it was nice. So all of it is off and it looks, it looks really good. Like the, the, the paint, everything on here looks just as good as it did when I put the vinyl onto the bike. I think what I'm gonna do is sell the set of fairings because it's always hard to find OEM plastics in good condition and my stuff is in you know practically new condition because there's no, no problem with it, nothing damaged on it before I wrapped it and so it's been protected for the past six, seven months. So yeah, I'm probably gonna sell it. I'll probably list it up on eBay unless one of you guys is interested then catch me before I do that. Um, you can send me an email or something. But yeah, uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited for uh, what we're gonna be doing. I know some of you are probably wishing that I put these plastics back on the bike so we could see it blue for a little while. The reason I'm not doing that is because, well, one, it's a hassle to put all this stuff back on. Two, uh, what we're gonna be doing doesn't involve putting these plastics back on the bike. I wanted to see the bike blue as well, but uh, it was just so hard to get all that vinyl off outside in the cold, so it is what it is. Uh, new stuff coming soon. I'm really excited. Probably a video will come out in a couple days. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're not subbed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want any of my merch, you can get it at modernosity.com slash shop. Link is at the top of the description. You guys have been awesome. I've been Modernosity. Remember, life's better with the horsepower. Keep life lived, and I'll see you guys in the next one.